Half a day, Mogithin, and welcome. One Micronesia podcast. OMG, this is jam packed. I've never had this set up in a whole, in a hot minute, pretty much. <laughs> uh, to have these guys back on, uh, I had uh, Jason on, Holly, and Shabby on the podcast. Uh, Austin, uh, always trying to reach him, but he's always busy. You know, he's always <laughs> hanging out there in the States, you know. He's doing his thing, but you know, that's cool. I'm, I'm really um, honored to have these guys on. My friends here on the podcast, they're, they're on island for a big concert that's coming up this weekend. But we're going to get to the concert in just a little bit. But uh, let's start things, uh, first things first, let's just catch up, guys. Uh, how's it been? I mean, state, you guys are back here, but it's, you know, the last, from the last time we talked until today, How's life been in the States? Um, let's start with Shami. It's good, man. Life is great. I just had a baby boy, by the way. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, man. <laughs> and, uh, good, man. Uh, just writing music, nice. gigging with these guys, and just going through the through the hoops of nice. life out there. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, life out there is I mean, it's, it's, it's great. It's different from life back here. And oh, yeah. You never got one. We talked about it. And, in the, your uh, separate episodes, so that's that's cool. Mm-hmm. You guys, life's been good. Austin, oh, it's great, really. It's been gigging, jamming. I knew they threw it under the bus because uh, there's like he's gonna talk the most because he hasn't. Been <laughs> <on the podcast. laughs> you know, just talk about you know more about you and you know, how you moved in the states and, and stuff like that. I mean, these guys already had their um, the share on the the past <clears> set. <throat> you so learn about you, like how's you know the transition from Guam to the states and. How's it been with the gigs and stuff, family, friends? Oh, it's been good. Just been gigging with these guys, with the boys. Uh, a little bit of Lenny McDermott. Nice. Yeah. Good. And then uh, Jace, of course, uh, just fresh off, you know, uh, national television and representing, you know, Guam, yeah. Guam Marianas, and Micronesia on the map. The map. How, wow. How was that? I mean, yeah, it was, it was a crazy experience. Um, yeah, it's kind of like coming back to normal. Now I'm playing um, more shows, get to headline a bunch of Guam shows with these guys as well. So it's like, it's a blessing. You know, I'm grateful for um, grateful for the recognition on island and getting some, you know, more support and love. And um, to continue on with this with this career and this journey, you know, it's important. And let's talk about, you know, cause, like you guys literally get together. I mean, you guys have separate dates, but at, at one point in time, you guys would get together with gig. Yeah. Mm-hmm you know barbecues out there or just like you know regular gigs and talk about more like i guess more of tell you know all the the, the, the young up-and-coming bands you know how it is how is, how life out there is and, and how you, you deal with the different uh, the, the, the obstacles that you face is different from how we get here is different from how people gig out there and yeah. stuff like that. So a little more I mean, just so the, the, i mean it's it's kind of a broad question so it's like i mean <clears throat> the the thing would be to like handling the business side of music you know whether it's business with the venues you're playing with the promoters or even getting music on streaming platforms and uh, trying to make some kind of some monetary um, gain from your music you know it's the biggest thing um, growing up in Guam I mean we all grew up here in Guam so it's like we have been in times of just jamming just jamming to have fun you know and that's important that's a super important aspect is to make sure it's fun but mm-hmm. like um, a lot of us have learned that playing out in the states like it's like there's a lot of extra things that i wasn't doing when i was yeah you know or just it's just it's just a it's a bigger game there's more um all kinds of people you deal with who are some people are just a lot more business savvy you kind of pick up tips and tricks from different people you work from but um yeah i think for me like moving to the states it's just getting up on the business side of things was crucial to make it to make it a real business you know i mean uh, self independent independent business yeah um just attack on that it's like it's yeah it's different because we have a different like musical infrastructure out there so you got to learn the ropes and um sometimes learn the hard way but uh i think the most important thing too for the people out here is just just be persistent keep going and don't lose sight of that dream you know yeah i mean Honestly, that's a. I'm gonna tap on that too because everybody out here, it's a, it's a very touchy subject. It's when you're talking business, you know what I mean. And I just think we gotta break the norm. And when we get down to it, it's just also both sides of the spectrum. Meaning, like, you know, agreeing on both sides. You know, when you when you settle the business, like, also means you need to start on time and end on time. You know what I mean? So there's always that. Um, 
it's very touching, you know? Yeah. And you try, yeah. Because you're all here, it's like, oh, it's still yeah. having time. Yeah, you yeah, know, and it's, it's, but. It's all right, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, yeah, versus, yeah. So that's another thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, when you're on an island, then, I mean, that's, that, that's the normal, you know, it is, right. you know, we're, we're playing it by ear and stuff like that, mm-hmm. like, we're getting here, but, like, when you're out there, I think that's the main point that I wanted to get out, like, when, when the up and, these up-and-coming artists are out there, they know, like, the mentality now is different, you mm-hmm. know, it's like, yeah. you know, on island time and stuff right. like that. I mean, and just to be clear, I mean, there's a lot of, of um, really business savvy artists on the island for the music scene as well. Right, right. I we're here, we're here in, this, in this conversation, we're talking about the um, you know the up and coming, yeah, right? Up-and-coming. So people yeah. who have have zero to no experience exactly. or very little experience. So I mean, like, there's a lot of bands out here that are killing it in that sense yeah. too. They know what's up. Um, they've gone out for tours, oh, yeah. so oh, they get it. You know, um, yeah. I just want to put that out there. Awesome. I want to tap into uh, like how are things? You know the difference here and there like in your take on I mean you just I mean I know these guys moved out first and you just you know moved out just recently yeah it's definitely like starting all over mm. really mm-hmm. you know yeah, definitely. <laughs> was it yeah. hard though like was it like was it scary? Like no, it's definitely scary, but um, easy because we, you know, I knew these guys already before going out there. So Shelby, Shelby kind of brought me in and then introduced me to a lot of people too. That's, nice. um, so, that's gonna backfire because Jason, <laughs> just, Jason's it's a it. domino effect. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. You know, we just help each other out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot. Day, of, you know, like even like times where Shelby gets a call for a gig and you know he can't make it and so he hits up Austin yeah. or yeah. vice versa. Yeah, we try to look for you know we try to fill in every spot we can. Yeah. Um, and, it's just a, it's a community. Yeah. That is, that's what I was gonna like, get to next. Like, that community vibe. You know? yeah. mm-hmm. Like you guys are out there, and you know, you guys are not doing it alone, but you know, together. Mm-hmm. Like you said, like if somebody's, if somebody's, you know, as can't make it to this gig. I mean, hey, we got one of the boys. Yeah. To, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Basis, we got it. To be fair, yeah, that's what we try to do most of the times. Is like within the group, like. Uh-huh. Okay, which of the boys is around? Like, it's gonna happen yeah. before we have to call somebody. I feel mm-hmm. like right. There's you know, only so many of us. Yeah, we yeah. try to keep it as like you said, a community and bring in more of the of like the, another uh, keyboard player, like Connor Sablon. He's, yeah. Oh, he's been jumping in the another guy. Yeah, yeah, Connor Sablon. Shout out to Connor. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah mm-hmm. Connor Sablon. Yeah. <laughs> the, the coolest thing too is like the lessons that we're all learning and like the thing about it is we all have we all play different projects we play together as well, but like. You know, there's a lot of lessons to be learned just from different avenues that we start making uh, relations with. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, whether it's another band that Shabby tours with or Austin or Peter, and it's like, you learn hard lessons, you learn good lessons, you learn, you know, different things, but we can come back into the table and share that with each other. Yeah. You know, be like, man, I got screwed over with the payment for this. Oh. What should, you know, maybe what I should have done before that was, you know, write again in writing or something. Yeah. You know, things like that. Where it's like it's like a shared knowledge as well, you know. Yes, yeah. I mean, that way we look out for each other. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. That way, moving forward, and, like guess we had each other's backs. I think mm-hmm. that's 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 one of the the coolest things about um, you know islanders living out in the states, mm-hmm. in different communities or different group or different you know um, groups that, that you guys you know, like you know, out there helping you guys out, uh, giving you know uh, tips here and there, and how mm-hmm. to how to move forward and how to yeah. be better in the, in the business. That's amazing. You guys, want to take a break? When we come back, we're definitely going to talk about your. You're coming back home and talk about the concert that's coming up in just a little bit. Hey. We'll be back, guys. Hey. Hey, we're back. One of my hey. podcasts. I'm here with the boys. I got Austin, I got Jason, I got Hudley, and I got mm-hmm. Shabby here on the podcast. I am so blessed and honored to have the boys back uh, and just jumping on the cast, man. Like, I mean, doing it through Zoom was another thing. Uh-huh. Honestly, let's be real. I hated Zoom. Yeah. So having the boys back here, seeing them face to face and talking and chit chatting, I think. It's like we're just at the you know uh, backyard, just doing some session, mm-hmm. just chilling and chit chatting, catching up. So that's exactly what we're doing here. Um, so guys, you're back on island. Welcome back again. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Good yeah, to be back. Man. Welcome back on island. Um, so let's talk about it. You guys are back. How's you know? I know you guys are busy. Of course, yeah, I know you guys have been um, rehearsing uh, every single day. Uh, I know. Just looking at your eyes, you guys are just like, oh, I just want to go home, shower, and sleep, bro. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for taking the time. Of course. Oh, thank you, Vic. Uh, so let's talk about it, man. How's, how's the feeling we're back? Start with Shabby. Dude, it feels <clears throat> amazing. Yeah. When was the last time you were here? Uh, with Jay, 2019, right? Yeah, Ish. right before the pandemic. Right before the pandemic. Wow. Yeah, when you landed, when you landed from that show, it was like a few days, and it was like locked, ultimate lockdown. Yeah, I was like, whoa, we, yeah. we could have easily been stuck, you know. <laughs> For you know, real, bro, away. that was crazy. But Holly, you back again? Yeah, I was just here last year. So then, I mean, yeah, but being back again, I mean, I mean, being home, yeah. it, it, you can do it more than once, and that's the best. Yeah, yeah, I'm blessed to be able to come back so often. So 
work is good, but this is my first time performing as Hully, so that alone is like so amazing. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. so excited. His set's killer. Bro. Yeah. Oh, I'm I know. really excited. Sure. I'm gonna still prepare. <laughs> yeah. Bro, it's like, like I know, like we we we've gotten we've uh, gotten um, outside artists to come in, which is amazing. I can't wait to see their sets. Mm-hmm. I've been their songs mm-hmm. nonstop uh, these past couple of three weeks. But I'm ready. Like I said, I'm like ready for the boys to take that stage. Mm, yeah. And just like it's about time, man. Yeah. So you guys are back to perform. Uh, Austin, man, you're back. It's been a while. I mean, you. When you, le- when you left for the stage, you haven't come, come like, No, no, I've been back. I was here last year. I was because I, 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 I think my one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I had like, <laughs> family trips. Yeah. It's like, I'm feeling like it's good to be be back you know the voice you mm-hmm. stuck here during the pandemic okay yeah i yeah. got stuck like oh, oh, and right. everyone was isolating you was like, i flew in and then the, the next day covid hit oh, oh man and then i got stuck here for like eight months dang yeah i remember that i didn't know that <laughs> you know, remember that right remember when COVID hit, it's, it's a good now. quarantine yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then jace um yeah i mean it's always a it's always a blessing to come back um um just spending time with my parents again you know they're getting older now so, um Everyone's getting older. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you have all you have sure. so many friends. Have kids now. You know, I've, I've I've had kids for a while, a little while now. So it's just it's a trip. Like um, just seeing the the change happening. You know, life. Just seeing life mm-hmm. happen. Like like for me, it's like going back to my my childhood home and like sleeping in the same twin twin bed. Wow. My, <laughs> really the same twin, yeah. my feet are hanging off my bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just like reflection, a lot of reflection time. So it's, it's beautiful. And I'm, I'm glad you guys are back. I mean, you guys are here for the show, and Wong is definitely waiting for this big show. It's been a whole hot, like I said, a hot minute. Yeah. So we've seen this much Wong talent together mm-hmm. to just perform and, and just have a great time. So I can't wait for that. So you guys are back home. I just want to throw this one out. Uh, you know, we all go to mom and pop stores. What are you guys grabbing first to start with shopping? Things you're grabbing. Okay, the first thing I did when I landed is I went to PS Mart. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> dude, legit. I asked my cousin, he goes, Where's the where's the pool at? He goes, Bro, it's expensive. I said, I don't care. I'm swiping <laughs> my credit card. We're gonna go. We're running, that. yeah, We're gonna yeah. Run. So that's the first store I went to. Yeah, awesome, yeah. bro. Um, Mr. Brown. Ooh. And we can get that out there, but like I never see the macadamia one, so that's that's my go to. Mm-hmm. Empanada. Yeah. Oh, you have to have an empanada. And I came across this candy. I think these guys see me eat it so many times, but it's like this spicy candy. Oh. I don't know. It's like a leeing candy yeah, thing. Yeah, they, they make that a lot now. Like, yeah. No yeah, that's What's my jam. You know what? That one's foodies. Food. But I'm I'm sure it's got to be somewhere else because but it's as well. Yeah. yeah. Which foodies? It's a uh, show. Oh, okay, okay. It's, okay, it's yeah. like the restaurant, more like a, a pickup, pickup. Yeah. Type. Mm-hmm. Uh, Austin, mom oh. pops, bro. Who I'd have to say the same. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> or I went. Oh, actually, I went to Vimiore. Oh. Yeah, I went to Vimiore because oh. it's closer to the airport. I needed it quick. Nice. <laughs> yeah. nice. Oh yeah, that's awesome, Jace man. Mine's been um the new Paga Bay joint tendon India. Oh yeah, oh, I've, I've, oh, been, nice. I've been dropping like forty five dollars a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they like, have rehearsal everything. days. I just grab I grab all the empa- empanadas. Bro, stuff. insane. Yeah, the empanadas oh, bomb. They have- they have um, um, to go stuff out. What? That is crazy. I'm, <laughs> that, yeah. I'm like, this is like, a, is it stick, chicken, chicken stuff out? Yeah. Is that the one of the corned beef too? Someone that? told us about um corn, a oh, corned beef burrito made of eggs. Corned beef burrito or something like that? They use eggs. Bro, so. but they, they make a lot of it. Of course, they have empanadas. Yeah. Mm. My goal is to catch it before 8 p.m. Oh, yes. 8 a.m. I mean, I don't think it goes past like 7 30 is like they say is a prime. Yeah. Mm. 7 30 is like prime. I'm waking up that time. Yeah. <laughs> so, you guys are enjoying the island again, the, what the island has to give. Uh, let's talk about um, the show. Everybody's waiting for the show. Mm-hmm. Um, what can people expect? Uh, I mean, I know there's it's a set list. I know you guys have your own sets, but yeah. performing together, I think that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, what can people expect? And maybe in, in a general, uh, uh, like in a general, give them like a general view of what can I they can expect maybe if they don't know you guys but I, I hope that they have mm, to know you guys right. yeah I mean for me it's like uh, I'm playing a lot of my catalog mm-hmm. from the past as well so, so it's kind of a, a journey of you know my music adventure so far and then um, I got a lot of a lot of awesome talented musicians behind me oh, no. with some killer transitions and um, 
intros and outros and wow we're bringing yeah. the big show yeah some of it i'm like mm -hmm. i can't i'm just like Whoa, I'm, gonna let, <laughs> I'm gonna let them play the chorus and we'll lay off it's a little, you know um but yeah it's this it's a lot of growth in this set from like all my previous sets i would say it's my first time playing a headlining set as well mm -hmm. and also you made keys yeah keys for jay and, and vocals and vocals and vocals mm -hmm. uh shots you Keys and some vocals too. What's uh, really cool is um, like what Jay said, man. Like he looks out for everybody too, and he, he has us featuring on his set too. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's so cool. Yeah, you're gonna hear a lot of these guys' voices on the set. So, like I said, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited for my on the first, headliner set. Yeah, yeah. I mean, from the first act to the, the last mm -hmm. act, man, I think this is this gig's gonna be a really big one. I hope one day mm -hmm. they don't even know it's coming. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they bring the charger shoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll like mm -hmm. talk about your set, bro. I mean, not to Damn. give anything away, but you know. Yeah. It it's really high energy, so nice. be ready to dance for sure. Okay. Um, bring your dancing shoes. Um, or barefoot. Or barefoot, whatever you like. Never mind, it's already. I'll be honest, I cannot. I try to step on the rocks and my. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> my feet's not used to the island. <laughs> That's why you know, you're like, it's all like you've been on pavement, bro. Yeah. <laughs> too, too long, too long. Oh, that's awesome, man. Well, I'm excited about the show. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll definitely talk about what's next for each of you guys. Yes, sir. I know you guys are going to head back to the States, and we're going to find out, you know, like, what's next. Mm -hmm. yeah. Album, um, you know, gigs, all that. So we'll talk about that coming mm -hmm. up. Next. You're watching the One Mike Music Podcast. We'll be right back. Off the guys. One Mike Music Podcast. We are back. Still here with the boys, man. So far, the talk has been great. Amazing to catch up with these guys. Like I said, the show is coming up. I can't wait for the show. Like, you know what? I'm going to leave my Zoris. I'm going to dance without a Zori because these guys are going to bring up bring the heat because mm. the, the sets that they talked about is going to be good so if you're going to go to a concert just prepare to be low mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so guys let's talk about it uh i mean after the concert i mean some of you guys are going to be leaving at different dates mm -hmm. uh, to the states i mean hope i'm hoping you guys get more warm get take as much of warm and as you can before you, you head back to the state uh but when you guys head back let's talk about uh let's go around the table here and talk about you know what's next for Everybody, uh, you guys stuck with uh, um, it's actually funny because me and this guy got a few nice. gigs um, like as soon as we get back yeah. and then we take a break and then we hit the road and Whoa. Jason and actually all of us hit the road again <clears throat> for Seattle yeah. mm -hmm. then uh, or San Fran and Seattle. oh I'm sorry yeah, yeah San Fran and Whoa. Whoa. Mm -hmm. so it's like back to back a week after week yeah every weekend and then um, then yeah and then um that's pretty much it <laughs> yeah 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 we got all these gigs we're playing at chinchuli fest in livermore nice. uh we're playing in nectar lounge with jason wow. yeah um Probably. not myself but i'll be with jason playing guitar oh, um, singing. he's gonna yeah. sing <laughs> he's gonna sing a song you're singing bro yeah. yeah and then i and then i have a i'm planning to release an album probably probably in august sometime just trying Ooh, to get my ducks in the road just a little ep dang, nothing bro. serious yeah. but <laughs> I mean, like, a local music mashup has been, you know, has been getting a lot of holidays. So. Um, oh, that's yeah, awesome! Thank you, man. I appreciate that. For, um, for what's next. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Send it our way when you can. Yeah, of course, <laughs> always. On this side. Always. <laughs> awesome. Let's go to you, man. Let's, uh, of course, you guys have the. Yeah, about mm -hmm. the same. Yeah. yeah, we hit San Fran, Seattle. Yeah. And then after that, um, shoot, to Seattle, yeah. Seattle, San Fran, San Fran. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you guys. Something's in October, but I'm not gonna talk about that yet. Yeah, um, you know, like so, yeah. So it's all this wrong. It keeps it bring up the same shows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. 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 The 16th Chinchuli, right? Yeah. July 16th mm -hmm. Chinchuli, and then uh, I play acoustic um, show on July 17th at Pabetsu for the Guam Liberation. Um, and then, yeah, July 23rd in Seattle, Necro Lounge. Um, yeah, it's cool, because these are all, like, Guam-related shows. So yeah. It's like, and, it. and, and in cities with a lot of Chamorros. Mm -hmm. you know? um, so we're excited to play those. Um, yeah, then when I get back, i uh, got to just finish up some pro open projects. I've uh, been writing for some another artist. Um, and then, yeah, try to finish up my own album by the end of the year, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just want to throw this out there. Like, what's, like, not end game, because I don't talk about the end game. Like, we're, like there's more things coming. More but what's, like, that one big, um, that one big gig or what big moment that you guys are, like, if you guys get it, you're like, yes. 
Like, is there a stage I mean, out there, or is there a performance or a festival or something? Mm. Yeah, I mean, the, fe- the big festivals are always a, a like a dope goal to have. But it's, like for me, it's like knowing that all my bills are taken care of and have money in the bank, and mm-hmm. I, you know, I could buy a house, I could buy yeah. a car. You know, like, literally try to to get to a point where um, money is an issue and the, and the music could pay for the majority of the things I need. You know? Honor family, family. Yeah, take care of family, provide. You know? um, as far as stage. <laughs> this guy played Red Rock. No, yeah, 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 everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All Too of much. It. Yeah. All of it. Um, this guy Red Rock. We've guy, all dude. played in like, for us, it's like, at the moment, we're like, dang. <laughs> you know? Right. And it's, but we're like, we want more. And the thing that I told myself the last time was, um, it was really funny because I literally parked and Austin pulls up. <laughs> I mean, this was Cali Vibes. Oh, the former one love. Wow. And, I played first, and then Austin, and it's a rotating back stage, back. right? Yeah. <laughs> Me and Austin, like, tag next. <laughs> yeah. Right? But the one thing I did say was, I, I told Austin, man, Prim, you know what? The next time we play this stage, it's going to be with more bands coming out of the islands. Mm. That's my goal. Yep. If, like, not to be mean or anything, but it's m- one of the most fulfilling things that I want, you know, like, not about the money. It's not about the you know. It's the music, the vibes, and bringing the music from out here, out there. Yeah, I yep. just, yeah. I don't know if that makes sense if I said that correctly, no, but it's just you know, right. you're definitely uh, really fulfilling for me. You know, to know that I'm gonna back up another artist coming from the yeah. you know from the islands. And that, I think that's one of the coolest things about you guys is you guys are so humble. You guys are out there. You're doing your thing, but at the same time, you're so humble. Like mm-hmm. you, you can be like Jason. Like he can be like. The headliner, but next gig you're, you're seeing him being, mm-hmm. he's backing up. He's backing up. One of the boys out here coming, like, hey, I got you. Or he's shouting, you know, oh, hey, we'll play for like three bands, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys people, hey, I got you. No. Yeah. 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 Three sets for you guys, whatever. Oh, know, Lord. It's really the, the humbleness and how you guys mm-hmm. support each other, other out there. That's pretty cool, man. Mm-hmm. I, I love that the vibe. Mm-hmm. So, you have to, man, yeah. because um, there's. There's enough for everybody. Mm-hmm. The, the, my favorite thing about this group that I play with is like everyone understands like it's just like sacrifice now. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like mm-hmm. putting the time together now. Um, the pain might not be that good, you know, things like that. But like down the road, you know, it's all a common goal mm-hmm. for bigger shows and and more success. You know? awesome. mm-hmm. and like I said, man, you guys, like I don't know if you guys know it. I already, I know you already know it, but I've been telling you guys like ever since. Like I honestly, every time we see you guys out there, like you're posting different festivals of rap people mm-hmm. playing together as a as a group i think every time i see you guys do that it's, I, I so like I, I look up and i was like man these guys are you guys are amazing mm-hmm. you guys are not only doing it for you guys or the families mm-hmm. or guan or yeah. let honest, we're doing it for my community as a region yeah like we talk about you know he, he kind of mentioned about you know he wants bands from here to go i mean we've seen a lot like not to get not to get it wrong like we love our polynesian brothers and sisters, yeah absolutely but we need like when you guys are out there you guys are definitely repping and you're 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 inspiring this next generation that absolutely instead of just gigging on island like you guys have done yeah. in the past but to kind of take the next step mm-hmm. and, and move to the states and, and create something or not even not even move just you know or, get yeah. some funds and, and go make out. a run come hit us up we have come hit us up and, and get, have funds let's hit the yeah road. let's yeah. you know yeah slide into the deals yeah. 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 come to her Come to your state side. Yes. All right, well, guys, we're going to take a break, and we'll come back. It's the last part where we say goodbyes, the last words of anything you guys want to throw out. We'll do that coming up in just a little bit. If you're watching the One Mike Ninja Podcast, then we will be right back. Hoffany, and we are back. One Mike Ninja Podcast. Man, talk has been amazing. We caught up with them, found out what life has been like in the States for them. Talked about them stepping back on island, uh, coming through those doors at the, the Guam International Airport. I know that feeling every time that door opens, mm. you're just looking and all you see is family and friends and that mm. feeling is, I think, one of the best feelings ever. You yes. walk out of the airport and you yeah. just see that. You and then the humidity it. hits you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> silence. Yeah. But yeah, so we talked about that, talked about the gig, what people can expect at the concert. Um, talked about what you guys are up to, what's next for you guys. So this is the part where we kind of like just throw it out and then for and we talked about these guys talking about the young up-and-coming uh artists here on guam in micronesia who, who's getting into music and they're, they're watching you guys do all these amazing things in the states uh so let's talk about it i'll go around the table like a message to maybe a few a few words to the um to inspire the next generation of musicians here in micronesia so shut up. the main thing is 
just keep pushing. I know it sounds really like, you know, all pushing, but just keep pushing. You know what I mean? Even even when you feel like it's the worst, it's gonna the, the good is coming. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't stop dreaming. Uh, cultivate your culture. I think that's very important. And you know, just believe in yourself. Just do it. If you want to do it, take some risks and do it. You know, believe in yourself. Don't stop. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Um, yeah. Um, I feel like um, knowledge is key. Um, a lot of the information you need to to learn in order to do is all out there on the internet. You know, um, you can research it. I mean, um, avoiding a lot of the negative self talk um, as artists. You know, it's easy. I've been in my I've been in that situation many times where you kind of just talk to yourself in really negative ways, or you doubt what you can do, um, especially when you're putting yourself up against amazing phenomenal artists you know what i mean um but it's all about growth i think uh we all start somewhere and we all have those challenges to try to break through and just make the competition be yourself yesterday not wow. and not you know your friend next to you mm. that's awesome mm-hmm. yeah. coming like each and every you know um, message out to me like from, from all four of you guys i mean beautiful and inspiring at the same time so thank you guys all right so before i let you guys go i always throw it out there if people can I want to follow your journey or slide into the dims if they have like questions about how to make music or produce music, mm. how to play keyboard, how to play guitar, all these things that they have questions and you know they want to reach out and start with John. Yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I um, opened up a studio was it last year mm-hmm. too as well. So I'm still learning too. But if you have any questions or want to work in and you know on music, uh, I'm super open. My Instagram is buck keys with a z. Just hit me up, and you know, and any questions that I can help and answer, I'm I'm there. Yeah, yeah. I have a website, listen to Hully dot com, um, and listen to Hully is all the tags across all the platforms. I do a lot of studio work for these guys, anyway. So yeah. if you guys ever need like guitar work or vocal tuning, I, I learned it. I think I'm getting better, right? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. So at listen to Hully across the board. Awesome. Yep. Uh, give me the keys. Need help? Hit me up, Austin Sarulu. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, if you just need someone to talk to late at night, <laughs> uh, not anything, anything music related, um, uh, songwriting, guitar playing. Um, yeah, Jason J dot music, Jason letter J dot music, um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, what else? TikTok. <laughs> everywhere, bro. Yeah. Everywhere, yeah. <laughs> Jason awesome. J. Well, gentlemen. Brothers, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you, Vic. So, sorry to great. take away at least 30 minutes of nah. a long time. No, bro. I know, like, each and every minute counts. Like, Rehearsal's right down the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good, yeah. Uh, but thank you guys so much for stopping by and just chit-chatting. I mean, I, I wish we could, you know, I wish we could have yeah, gone, like, thank you. super, like, an hour or two hour. I know yeah. Joey was like, hey, can you, like, I know you and the boys can talk. <laughs> They're like, I got this. So, But at least we got the, the right information. Mm-hmm. Sir. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, people watching and you know hopefully you know they, they get to code the show and watch you guys yeah. or maybe not do it, but follow you guys on social media and follow mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Saturday please come Saturday yes. July 2nd we are in the Ganya Beyond the Reef Music Festival Cheers. check us out Guam Music baby <laughs> alright well that's how you end the podcast one my music podcast we'll catch you guys on the next one peace Shoot. Shoot.